What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing an unboxing. Unboxing something that I've been waiting to get my hands on for a very good while and today it came in the mail. We are unboxing the SN30 Pro Bluetooth gaming controller from 8-Bit Do. 8-Bit Do. I'm not sure how people say it. I'm gonna call it 8-Bit Do. So let's get into opening this thing shall we? First, let's look around the box. Nothing there. All my tracking stuff. Yay! And as you can see, it's for Switch, Mac o iOS, or I'm sorry, Mac OS, Android, Windows, Steam, and Raspberry Pi. But enough of that. Let's look at this bad boy. Look at that. Looks just like a Super Nintendo controller. Oh, oh that feels just like a Super NES controller. Oh, and in case you need to know how to sync it up to whatever you're using it with. Those analog sticks feel really good. But now, let's take off that amazing little sticker right there. Just like a Super NES controller. As you can tell, it's got two analog sticks. It's got your standard X, Y, B, and A buttons. It's got a nice little 8-bit do logo button there. And over here, it's got a star button. So I'm going to assume that what these do is this will be your home button. And this right here, if you're playing on Switch, this is going to be your capture button. On top, it has L and R and L2 and R2. And look at that. It is USB-C powered. I like that. And that thing feels really good in the hands. Just like the Super NES. So let's see what else we got in the box. As Brad Pitt would say, what's in the box? You got your standard 8-bit do con controller instruction manual. All the fun stuff and information you need for this controller. And a ribbon style USB-A to USB-C charging cord, which is very good. I'm glad to see everything going to USB-C. And nothing. So, how does this compare to a standard SNES controller? I'm glad you asked. Let's find out. Alright, sorry for the weird shaking of the camera. I am doing this rather live in one take only. So, as you can tell, it looks very much just like the standard Super Nintendo controller. Except it's just added the analog sticks and the extra controller buttons on top. So, uh, this is my unboxing of it. I'm going to give it the update that it's probably going to need. And I'm going to sync it to either my Super NES or my Switch. And we'll do a uh, test through video and see how well it plays. Right. 
I'll catch you guys later.